I think um, I think it's still at the enhancement stage. We're still a laggard, I think, uh, in our in technology use and and because there's a lot of information in the real estate space between valuations and leasing and and development and supp and supply and and research. And there's not a lot that helps to, to integrate it. It's not easy, and it's a it's still it's still a laggard in that space. But we're, there's a disruptor out there. I think I think it's definitely been seen in the multi-res space um, with groups like CoStar, uh, who have are you know the the amount of information. Right, Canada has always been behind other other jurisdictions on information. As the amount of information increases and increases. I think that's a massive disruptor. I think there's a lot of people that sort of uh, benefit from the lack of information in the marketplace, and there could be some disruption in that in that particular part of the, the business for sure. Whew, that's a big, broad question. So there's no denying technology is changing everything fundamentally. So I'll speak to my, my, in, my sector of the industry, so primarily multifamily, but also to a certain extent uh, office with Compass Commercial Realty. But when I take a look at it from my multifamily side, it's about how we contact our future tenants, how we communicate to them. A good example is we're building the Alexander here in Halifax. <clears throat> Yesterday we had our grand opening for our show suites, and we really did much more than we've ever done in terms of social media. So we worked with an agency to have a number of influencers come and look at our units and then take photographs of themselves there and broadcast them. And the traffic we've seen from that is tremendous, and that's the way going forward it's changing for us. We need to be able to be in that medium so that we can communicate with the next group of renters. So that works. Meanwhile, in terms of how we manage our business, uh, the information we get, the way we access it, the way we share it and distribute it, analyze it, it's all technology based. And increasingly paper is less and less, although there's still more paper than anybody would think. But for us to talk to our staff and the way they communicate, they're very appreciative of the fact that our initiative, one of our initiatives is, if you can't do it with a single push of a button, we probably won't do it. I think that every week or every month you hear about a new technology that's going to bring the end of bricks and mortar. First it was the mall, then it was the office place. But ultimately I believe that humans are social creatures and we want to get out of our homes and we want to be together. And so I see technology as being something that is going to enhance the way we use real estate. So, you know, walking through a shopping mall or a retail store and using a wayfinding app to help you find the goods that you want more quickly. Or, you know, looking up reviews when you go to a new city about where to get the best coffee. You're still going to the store, you're still going to the mall, but technology is helping you have a better experience. Um, in my personal life, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't balance career and home without the use of technology, which allows me to be available to my clients wherever I am, at whatever time, uh, respond to my team. So, you know, again, I think technology is, is helping us in our business, not, not disrupting. I see it as both disruptive and uh, as an opportunity. Uh, and things that are disruptive should be opportunities for, for organizations. Uh, in terms of being disruptive, uh, we have to um, really understand the retailer of the future and create the infrastructure within our malls uh, that supports uh, their requirements and their needs going forward. Maybe it's a smaller footprint, maybe it's a larger broadband uh, width to uh, support their internet technologies, those sorts of things. So we have to be, um, it's going to be very disruptive in our, to, to our malls and the layout of our malls, but we, it's an opportunity for us to have a competitive advantage over others. Uh, in terms of a, a pure opportunity, I see the technology is giving us uh, the ability to deliver information to our employees at a much faster pace and a much more accurate pace, allowing them to make decisions. We can be much more nimble, much more flexible, much more reactive and provide better customer service when our employees have timely and accurate information uh, to, with which to make decisions based on.